is something happening right now? <laughs> <with that? laughs> Hello, this is Jeff Dolphin here to talk about antimatter. Antimatter is sort of like regular matter, except that all the poles are changed. So, electrons are positive and are called positrons, and protons are negative and are called antiprotons. Now the antimatter is contained, but when it is released... Okay, we're done. But if matter and antimatter ever touch, they will. When antimatter collides with, with real matter, they annihilate, and uh, the potential energy turns into 100% pure kinetic energy. Um, an antimatter is created when two subatomic particles, particles are c going at the speed of light towards each other, and they collide. Is that it? There are massive amounts of energy stored in antimatter. Only if one half gram of antimatter and matter were to meet, 90 trillion joules would be created and 25 million kilowatt hours would be produced. That is a lot of energy. And because both particles would be destroyed, it is 100% energy efficient, making it the best source of energy available. But because of the cost to make antimatter is so large, it is not very cost effective now, but in the future it may be. There are many designs for antimatter fueled spaceships which would be propelled into the far reaches of space. But seeing as only a picogram of Antimatter has ever been produced. It is a long ways away before we can get uh, the um, massive amounts of energy stored in antimatter. Besides being made in the laboratory, antimatter is also produced every day naturally through the breakdown of radioactive isotopes such as carbon 14, which is found in all organic material. When a radioactive isotope breaks down, it has a just under 50% chance of becoming antimatter and a just over 50% chance of becoming regular matter. But if it does become antimatter, it immediately meets matter and annihilates. And then it, because there is a slightly greater chance of it becoming matter than antimatter, it simply become eventually all of it becomes matter. And this is how the universe was originally created. By there, by there was energy everywhere, and it would would constantly change between energy and matter and antimatter, and then would immediately annihilate. But because there was a slightly raised chance of it becoming matter, it allowed the uni a universe made almost completely of matter to be created.